Okay, for math today, we are going to work on 11.5 homework. Uh, that's on page 593 and 594 and looks pretty similar to what you see on the screen right here. Um, instead of the even problems, let's do the odd ones. Now, just to review, we know that a fraction can name part of the length of an object, okay? So if we look over here, what fraction of the length of the line segment is blue? What fraction of the length is not blue? So we can see from this strip right here, we've got blue and red. Now they're saying we can use fraction strips to find the part of the whole. So they divided this into four equal parts. So the unit fraction is one fourth. Now, what fraction of the length of the line segment is blue? We simply count the fraction strips that align with the blue part. So we've got one, two, and three. So three fourths of the segment is blue, and then only one fourth of the segment is red or not blue. So as you go on to complete this and you have today and tomorrow to do this, so maybe do 593 today and 594 tomorrow. Remember, we are only doing the odds, uh, the odd problems. I believe that is one, two, three, four problems today. So in one and two, you are going to write the fraction of the length of the segment that is green. So you are only paying attention to what is green. We know that the unit fraction is 1 8th. That's how many equal parts this segment's divided into. You're going to count the parts that align with the green segment. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So what is our fraction of the length of the segment that is green? Now for number 3, it says write the unit fraction that represents each part of the length and then what fraction of the length is shown. So you're going to have two answers for this question. We can see based on this denominator that the unit fraction is 1 eighth. Okay, this, um, this whole length is divided into eighths. Now, it wants us to write a fraction of what is shown. So you count one, two, three. What is the fraction that you would be writing to show what fraction of the length is shown? So let's keep going. We are on number five. Whoops, let me erase this. Sorry, guys. Um, you're still doing the same thing. Uh, what's great when they're asking what the unit fraction is now is they basically told you it already um, because it's listed right there. We, based on that denominator, know that this is going to be divided into fourths. So our unit fraction is one fourth. Remember though, we have to have two answers. So what fraction of the length is shown? You count that. How many pieces did they give you? One. So what is the fraction? And then finally, for number seven, it says, suppose there were two more one-sixth strips in the diagram shown in exercise six. So we have to look at this one. What fraction of the length would be shown? How do you know express this length as a sum of unit fractions? Well, we know that this is divided into sixths, and it's saying that we need to add two more. So that would give us one, two, three, four, five, six. I would write that in. So if this whole thing is now one six, what is the length that is shown? Okay. Remember, and here's a hint, if your numerator and denominator is the same number, what do we have? What is that the same as saying, regardless of the number? 
Okay, let's turn to page um, 594, just so I can read those word problems for you. And then we will go over more of those tomorrow. Uh, remember, we are only doing the odd. So let's look at number nine. Gabriel owns an auto repair shop. He is checking his supply of air filters and finds that he needs to buy six air filters. Each filter costs $18. Gabriel has $125 to spend on the filters. Is $125 a reasonable amount to buy all of the air filters? Explain how you know. Here's your hint, guys. You are going to multiply. This is a review. So you need 18 times 6. Use partial products if you need to to solve this problem. Okay. We have uh, 18 because each filter costs $18 and he's buying 6, which is why we are multiplying those two numbers. You need to figure out what the product is to determine if $125 is a reasonable amount. Is he going to need more than $125? Because if he does, then that's not a reasonable amount. Um, if it comes to less than that, then I'd say $125 is reasonable. But I want to see your work. Um, I know that your parents have learned how to do multiplication different than how we are teaching it now. That's okay, but know that we still have to do partial products um, because that's going to come in handy in fourth grade. So remember, you have that 18, 10 and 8 make up 18. So you would then say 10 times 6, okay? And then 8 times 6. And then I want you guys to do the rest and solve from there. Um, let me know. Oh, I guess let's go on to number 11. Let me erase this so it doesn't show up on our work. All right, Graham is laying down pieces of green and orange tiles in a row. In which diagram is the green portion of the length equal to four sixths? So if we look at this, the first thing is we're going to look at the ones that have six in the denominator as well. So we could automatically cross out C, okay? Now, he's laying down green tiles, uh, or laying down pieces of green and orange tiles in a row, and which diagram is the green portion of the length equal to six? Well, it, A, B, and D are saying that they are all divided into sixths. So now what we have to figure out is which is the green portion. Okay, so if you notice, these um, lines are orange and green, so you're going to have to count. And while I see four here and four here, are they matched up with the green or with the orange? So those are things to consider. And those are the only two questions on that page. As always, if you want to do more, I encourage you to do more. The more practice, the better. If you need help, please reach out to me. I'm here to support you. Um, all right, guys, I'll chat with you later. Bye.